Hi guys, I just wanted to um, share a, a bit of a <laughs> awkward moment I had with my Typhoon H. Uh, I decided to take it out a few hours ago. Um, the weather was looking a little bit suspect, but not in general. It was, it was fine, there, there was no rain. Um, took off here as normal. You can see I'm flying around. This is in New Zealand, it's um, Parramatta. And um, I noticed a bit of rain starting to come in um, shortly into the flight, so I thought I'd, I'd better get it back. But that was sort of a little bit later on. At this stage, things are still looking pretty good. So I took it out. I had the camera turning around. You can see, just uh, looking to the north here at this point, you can see it looking a bit murky. And I thought, oh, maybe it's not going to be worth flying it after all. So um, but at this point here, looked it was still dry and it looked pretty good. So we're still flying around, heading back, and... Uh, getting some quite good footage here, it's looking quite spectacular. Uh, getting up to a height of about 120 metres, um, kind of started coming back, and I uh, thought I'd fly up, heading north a bit, and then I realised the rain was getting quite quite heavy at this point, so I decided I'd better bring her home. So everything was still looking good. There was a little bit of rain on my... Um, ST16 and I thought oh, I better I better get it down because it's you know starting to look a little bit worse the rain's sort of coming quite quickly and quite suddenly you can see here it's starting to show on the lens of the camera so right up now heading up to this point here everything's still fine and just coming along and all of a sudden without warning I get an alarm saying motor fail and you'll see just here at this point you'll see the uh, front prop dip into the screen right there and I knew I had a big problem. Um, it was still responsive. I thought, oh, maybe it's just a, a false alarm. But as I looked up, I could tell there was one motor on the front. The front, the front uh, port side motor had completely stopped. And the other five motors were doing all the work. I was really upset at this point. I thought, I'm probably going to lose it. But I'll try and get it down. Um, as you can see, the landing gear came down. And uh, we brought her in for a landing. Um, I got the thing home, um, got it, managed to get it down. As I was coming down, it um, started to behave quite erratically and was a little bit unresponsive, and I thought I was actually going to crash it, but still got it down to the grass, and uh, we were all good. Um, wondering when I was getting it home if it was ever going to fly again, but I dried it off and uh, flew it around my backyard for about 30 minutes with two batteries, and um, yeah, everything's fine. I think there may have been a little bit of water got into one of the motors, uh, the motor that failed. Um, I thought I'd maybe burnt out an ESC or something like that, but no, it was good. So um, yeah, it's it's obviously working okay now, but obviously a lesson to learn here is uh, don't fly it in the range, in the rain. Thanks guys, uh, we'll uh, catch you next time. Bye.